Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the slide sorter view. Let's get started. Alright, so you'll see I have a presentation here and I'm about to show you the slide sorter view. You can find that in the view tab, the presentation views group, and hover over this command right here, slide sorter view. See thumbnails of all slides in your presentation to easily rearrange them. So this view, once you click on it, you'll see that I have seven slides in here and this view is primarily used for moving entire sections of a PowerPoint presentation to a different spot within the presentation. You could also use this to mass delete um, different slides in your presentation and you can also use it to move slides around. So let me show you first how to delete a slide. Let's say that I go over here to slide two right here and I no longer want this slide, it's very easy to delete it. I click on it and then I press delete on my keyboard. Very good. Now let's say that I want slide 3 to move to the very end of the slide. I could then click and drag to move it to the very end. All right. If you want to see any more slides at once you could zoom out by control and scroll back or control and scroll in and it'll show you all of your slides up close. All right, so that's how you zoom out and zoom in. Finally, this view is very useful for, uh, as I said, rearranging multiple slides at once. I did want to show you a couple of tricks to do that. If I wanted to select all of the slides in my presentation, I could do Control plus A on my keyboard. All right, so Control A will select all of the slides, and you'll see that they all have that orange border around them, letting me know that I have them all selected, all six. Um, as I mentioned, I can move them around by clicking and dragging. All right, and then finally, I'm going to show you how to select slides that are next to each other as well as slides that are not adjacent to each other. All right, so adjacent slides or slides that are next to each other can be clicked on and then hold down shift. And let's say I wanted to select slides one through four. If I hold down shift, I could click on four and it will select slides one, two, three, and four. And then I can move those slides anywhere that I want. Maybe I move them right in the middle of five and six. All right, now I'm going to show you how to select individual slides. I hold down control and I'm going to click on slide one. I'll click on slide three and on slide five. This allows me to select non-adjacent slides. For example, if I held down shift and I clicked on slide three, the, this will select every slide from slide one to slide three, whereas control, I click on slide one, hold control, click on slide three and click on slide five, that will not select the cells, or sorry, not the cells, uh, the slides within them, right? So it just selects one, three, and five. So that's the difference between using shift and control. Then I can move slides one, three, and five anywhere that I want within the presentation. And you'll see that they get readjusted. So I hope this uh, video helped you out with PowerPoint and how to use the slide sorter view. Hopefully you see why it's value so valuable for rearranging your slides. If this video was valuable for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have more questions about PowerPoint, I have a PowerPoint playlist with over 60 videos in it on my YouTube channel. And it's all linked or all uh, ordered from easiest to most difficult concepts in PowerPoint. I also have playlists on Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel and Publisher. So if you want to watch those, please watch those as well on my YouTube channel on the playlist section. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.